Okay, let's talk about some of the basics of interval notation. Interval notation really represents just shaded regions on a number line. Each shaded region is one interval. We read intervals left to right, just as we read the number line. In fact, the interval will perfectly match the shaded portion of the number line. If you include the endpoint, you're going to use brackets. If you don't include the endpoint, you'll use parentheses. Uh, compare using brackets to a solid dot. Compare using parentheses to the open dot that you may have learned uh, earlier in your school career. Let's take a look at, a, at an example. What we'll do is we'll start with a simple inequality. We'll also write it in set builder notation because oftentimes this is used as well. We'll graph it, and lastly, we'll do the interval notation. You can draw the interval notation right from this, but it's, it's really best if we see a picture of what it looks like. So let's take a look. Uh, simple inequality, x is greater than 2. In set builder notation, we'd say the set of all values x such that x is greater than 2. Really, really, we haven't changed anything. We're just using a set, set notation. And now we're going to graph it. Draw a number line. Here's uh, 2. I like to include some points that are in the neighborhood. And then lastly, we see uh, x is greater than 2. So we are going to not include 2. I'm going to use a parentheses. And I'm going to shade to the right. Now, you may have been used to using an open circle, uh, but in this notation we'll use the parentheses no notation to indicate the uh, end value is not included. Now, getting to the interval notation. What we had said before was the interval notation we read left to right, the shaded region is one interval, the left portion is two, and we use parentheses for not including the end point. We use a comma, and then the right portion of the uh, interval, in this particular interval, is infinity. It never stops. And being that infinity is not a number, we can't use a bracket. We can't actually include the number infinity, because it doesn't exist. We're going to use parentheses. So this is the interval, parentheses, two, comma, infinity, parentheses. Let's try another example. Here we have... A simple inequality, x is less than or equal to negative 1. In set builder notation, again, curly braces, the set of all values x such that x is less than or equal to negative 1. Not a big change there. And let's graph this. Drawing a number line, we want negative 1 to be prominent. Sometimes you can include 0, not really important. I like to include a couple numbers around there. And we want to go x is less than or equal to negative 1. So we are going to be shading to the left, but we are also including negative 1. That means we're going to use a bracket. Bracket means we include the endpoint. And then we shade to the left. Now to do the set builder notation, the set builder notation, like we've said before, indicates one shaded region. The left-hand side of this region on the number line is actually negative infinity. The right-hand region is negative 1. Now ask yourself, are we including negative infinity? The number doesn't exist. So we're going to use a parentheses. Are we including the right-hand endpoint, negative 1? Yes, there is an equal sign. We are including it, so we use a square bracket. So here is our interval notation for the original problem.